Hello and welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again for yet another unboxing. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Cece and I do mostly bookish subscription box unboxings. Sometimes I do bookish stuff, sometimes I unbox other stuff, but today we're looking at the Owl Crate, which is a bookish subscription box. The Owl Crate is probably one of the most widely known subscription boxes. It ships from the USA, so we're looking at the YA one and it comes in a variety of genres, so it doesn't specialize on like one specific genre. It is a themed box, so there's like a monthly theme and we have three to five high quality goodies coming in a theme that revolves around a book which is a newly released usually within 45 days prior to shipping. Um, every book since I believe this year has an exclusive cover and is often signed. So yeah I'm excited to see what we have at this time. This is one of the only boxes by the way that does not get opened by customs and like I don't know what they're doing differently but customs doesn't need to open it that much. Let's look at it. This is what she looks like. This is... <coughs> it dropped. Okay. So this is the spoiler card, um, which is a nice uh, hard paper. And there's a lot of like writing on here this time. This month's theme, uh, the October 2018, is Lost in the Bookstore, which I am excited to see what they come up with. First off, there's a pair of socks. The book nerd socks, there's like books on it and I believe it says book down here. Oh, book nerd. And they seem to be really nice quality. And it says, time to get cozy, wear your awesome exclusive book nerd socks and show off your reader pride. Made by our friends at Out of Print and Underlined. So this is the first item. The next item is chocolate mint truffle black tea so if look at this cute design this is almost too um like too cute to open up um if you've been on the hunt for the perfect tea for fall winter look no further this delicious chocolate a uh, choco mint truffle tea from tea the tea spot is so soothing and yummy perfect for a chilly evening i am looking forward to this one sounds really interesting and then um matching this comes a tea strainer in the form of a heart i love strainers if they leave a little bit more room for the leaves to really evolve so this is very tight i don't know if i will actually end up using it i might give this away in my monthly giveaway so if you are new to my channel and you don't know that yet i do host monthly giveaways where i give away um, books and all the items from these boxes that i'm not keeping and that's quite a lot so uh watch out for this check it out um there's i'm pretty sure there's going to be something in it that you would like to win and use your super cute exclusive tea strainer when you brew up your tea. Team Owlcrate created this silicone heart-shaped strainer just for you with the help of designer Michelle Gray. This is, I believe, the first time that Owlcrate actually has a two books. Um, and we're already seeing the first one. one out. Um, and the first book is Pride by Ibi Zoboi. I hope I didn't butcher your name as I usually do. Um, it is an Owl Crate exclusive edition. Let's get it out of the paper and look at it a little bit more closely. So Pri um, Pride is a Pride and Prejudice retelling um, set in more like the modern world and with people of color. So I believe it plays in Brooklyn, New York and I like this cover, but this is really pink. Oh, and look at these end pages. This is awesome. So I knew I had a, another version. So this is the original. This is actually a strand signed um, edition. So the color is different here. And then the end pages are the same design just with a different color and then this strand edition is signed also let's see it should be quite similar it looks a little bit different 
so yeah, this is the original um, color and this is the exclusive. Which one do you like better? Let me know which one you prefer. So this comes with a bookmark and it comes with a letter from the author, which is also awesome. Um, it is a quite modern retelling and I have heard a lot of really good things about it. So I'm excited to get into this. The next item is an art print. And if you have watched a few of my videos, you know how I feel about art prints. Art prints should not be considered an item because um, it, no matter how beautifully they are done, how much the artist was like, has done a great job, um, art prints are so subjective and there's no other use for it than to hang them like up. And I don't have enough wall space to hang all the art prints up that I'm getting in these boxes. So I feel like this is like, it's just a very, very cheap item um, to consider an item. What would the mirror of erased reflection show if you gazed into it? We have a feeling for many of us, it would be piles of books and a letter to Hogwarts. Michelle Gray illustrated this adorable exclusive art print. So it is an exclusive, it is an exclusive, adorable art print, but to me, it's not considered a like full-on product goodie item. Then I'm just pulling this out from below the second book, and this seems to be a pouch. Might be a different kind of book sleeve. Let's see. No, it ah, it barely fits. It just fits and. This was a small book, so yeah, it says books are a uniquely portable magic. So for like paperbacks, this is probably a good size. Anything else I wouldn't put in here. It's made of hard linen, which like I don't like. It's not my preferred type of material, um, but it is a good quality. Take your canvas clutch per um, with you the next time you're on a trip to the bookstore. We created this pouch so that it was big enough to fit most small books. So you can protect your read on the go. Exclusively designed by the lovely Bookworm Boutique. So yes, um, for like little paperbacks, this is awesome. And I will most likely put this in my next giveaway because I am quite confident that somebody will like this. The second book um, that we're getting, and it's so awesome that we're getting two books. So the second book that we're getting is Shadow of the Fox. Shadow of the Fox is a story that is inspired by, um, I, I believe, Japanese folklore. And it's um, about, like, I, I believe, two people who have to come together to find, like, um, or hunt down this like old artifact or something. This is a nice cover. I believe this might be, um, this is an exclusive cover as well. Quite boring naked, but it is also a signed edition, which is truly awesome. So we have two books with exclusive covers and signed. Um, I believe this is worth like so much. And then we have a bookmark that goes along with it and a letter from the author. This is so cool. So about Shadow of the Fox, um, it says um, at the end of the millennium, whoever holds the ancient scroll with a will be granted one wish from the great Kami dragon. Yumeko, a Kitsumi shapeshifter, loses everything when a demon destroys the temple she calls home, as well as everyone she's ever known. She escapes with a piece of the treasured scroll and embarks on a quest to find the other missing pieces. Um, fate throws her into the path of Tatsumi, a demon slaying shadow warrior whose only mission is to find the scroll and kill anyone who stands in his way. Shadow of the Fox is filled with incredible incredible world building, Japanese folklore and culture, and the most unforgettable characters. And yes, it's an exclusive edition, so yay! Then we only have the button and and this little leaflet, which I always love. Um, it has a an interview with the author, um, the ex shows the exclusive and the original edition of the book. It seems like the original cover is much darker and more black 
um, than the Owlcrate one. It always tells us um, a few recommendations if we like the book, which I always find really nice. Here's the interview with the creator, and this time it's with the person who made the clutch. Dates for photo challenges. And then um, a date to chat with the author. It's on Instagram. And a lookout for the November theme. And the November theme is Rise from the Ashes. And there's the theme card that goes with it. All right, this is it. I am excited to have two editions. Um, usually the Owl Crate has like one big item that is like it feels really expensive which i'm missing this time but i'm getting two exclusive books and i am so here for it i prefer this over something that i'm just giving away so let's do some quick ratings as always lately tell me what you think this whole thing is worth all right let's do really quick ratings so beauty gets four out of five points being special gets five out of five points Unique Selling Point gets 4 out of 5 points, um, Service gets 4 out of 5 points, and Worth gets 5 out of 5 points, which gives us a, a total of a 22 out of 25 points, which is a 4.5 star rating, totally deserved. This box is such a contender, it's so consistent, which is pretty pretty awesome. I love the items um, but this time I'm especially in love because we're getting two exclusive um, books that are signed and this is what I'm here for. I don't think I have like use for most of this and stop the art prints. Just stop the art prints please. But overall love the box. will continue to subscribe simply because I love the exclusive editions and I interesting enough I don't always keep them but um, having them reading them and um, just deciding on if I want to keep them if they're like really cool special editions is really awesome to me. So yes totally can recommend this. Um, before you leave make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and head on over and don't forget to take part in my giveaway too so you can win awesome items. Until then bye!